Okay, back to um, part two of um, subnetting, and we're still talking about binary number system and the decimal number system. Now, why do we need to know binary to understand subnetting? Well, it's in the nature of IP addresses. Um, IP version 4 addresses are pretty much organized around a binary number scheme, and we'll be seeing that soon. But first, um, let's just review what we just talked about with binary. So let's say you know you wanted to um, you, you need to be able to in Cisco write any number in binary quickly. So let's say I wanted to do the number um, to let's say 34. This num 234 in decimal, right? I want to write it in binary. This is how you'd go about it. You'd think about your um, your columns here. Um, your place values in the binary system and you'd ask yourself, okay, 234, am I going to need a 128? Yes. Okay, and then you could say, am I going to need a 64-bit? And say yes. Now, 128 plus 64 is 192, right? And then you could ask yourself, will I need a 32-bit? And you'd say yes. 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224. So right now I have 224. I've got, let's see here, I've got 128 plus a 64 bit plus a 32 bit. You see that? Okay, and so far, and that equals 224. Now I still need to get to 234. So do I need a 16 bit? No. 16 would be too much. That would make 240. Do I need an 8-bit? Sure. If I took an 8-bit, add 8 more to 224, and that would be now 232, right? And then do I need a 4-bit? No, that would be too much. That would equal 236. Do I need a 2-bit? Two bit? Uh, two yes. So add a 1 there and a zero there, and now you have the right number. 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224, plus 8 is 232, plus 2 is 234. Let me put this in here. Plus 2 equals 234. So that's how I would write. So my binary number to reach 234 234 in decimal equals 1110010 in binary <coughs> and um, and vice versa. So this is a skill that you need to have in um, subnetting uh, to succeed on the Cisco CCNA exam. You need to be able to know your place values in the binary counting scheme. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Or 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, so on and so forth. So you should be able to write any number that way. You should be able to decode any number, right? And uh, we could do it with another number. Let's try it again one more time. We'll do an easier one. All right, we'll say we want to do the number... 43. Okay, well, that's going to be pretty easy. Um, number 43, a 0 for the 128, a 0 for the 64. I do need a 32. A 16 would make 48, so that would be too much. I do need an 8. So right now, I have 32 plus 8 equals 40. I'm not going to need a 4 but I will need a 2 and a 1. So that'll be plus 8, plus 2, plus 1, equals 43. So 43 in binary equals 00101011, okay? You don't need to write down the first two zeros if you don't want to. You could just write it like that. Okay, so that's 43 in binary. If you want to go to eight place values, 
then you could um, write it out like that. And this is pretty handy. You need to be able to know how to do this to succeed on your CCNA, and it'll be much more apparent when we start talking about um, when I start talking about the nature of subnet written reference to an IP address.